This video is sponsored by Guitar World Magazine. Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out the all-new Archon 50 amp from Paul Reed Smith. Paul Reed Smith has recently relaunched the Archon amp line, and I've also taken this opportunity to kind of make a few circuit tweaks uh, per a lot of their uh, artists' feedback and players' feedback, and they've also reduced the price point significantly. Now, before we go any further, this video is sponsored by my friends over at Guitar World Magazine, but all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now, I originally did a video for the US-made PRS Archon 50 several years ago. I think it was like four or five years ago at this point, and I liked that amp at the time. However, the things I wasn't so excited about were small things like the loop, the sound of the loop, and also it was a really, really gained out head. And I just wished there was a little bit more versatility in that original amp. I also wished it was a little bit cheaper. Paul Reed Smith has addressed all of those things and much more with the new relaunched Archon 50 combo and amplifier head. So right now we're gonna go ahead and hear this Archon in the context of a mix. I'm going to unplug the Celestion V-Type and I'm going to plug into a Mesa Boogie Vertical 212 with a Lawton LS308 and LS208 condenser mics. And I'm also gonna get uh, a VFE Ice Cream Tube Screamer Boost for funsies. And uh, we're gonna see if this can do the chugs and the heavies in the context of a mix. Let's do it. So the Archon 50 combo and amp head both have two channels. Each has a bright switch with their own master volume, uh, bias test points in the back, effects loop, I mean, really, this is just a great no-nonsense amplifier. Now the combo that I have here today retails for about $11.99 and comes with the Celestion V-Type speaker, which in my opinion is a really, really great pairing. I love the V-Type. Uh, I also really love the fact that uh, these amps, the relaunched amps, have 6 a 7 power tubes, which really, if you want to get uh, you want to get a little nerdy, the 6 a 7 power tube is what I've been putting in my some of my other tube amps for years. It's basically a military grade EO34 playing dress up in a 6L6 clothing, as it were. There's a very robust low end. Also, you know, you still have the good characteristics of the EO34 power tube. And typically, it's a little bit uh, less expensive than an actual EO34. It's, it's a really great tube. Now overall, uh, comparing this new Mark II amp to the original Archon, I have to say I prefer this version. Um, it's just more usable, it's more refined, it's updated, it feels good, it sounds incredible. I like where the mid-range sits on this amplifier. Also, I love the low frequencies that the global resonance and presence controls 
effect. Very, very usable. Also, they really let your guitar just kind of be your guitar. And, uh, you know, the differences in your guitars will simply be amplified plugging into the Archon. Very cool amp. This was a lot of fun to do. And uh, you know what? If you want one, you won't break the bank doing it. Pretty cool. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you want to further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something, and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.